So today we're here in Glasgow in Belgrade Tunnel and what we're doing is we're doing a scan, we're imaging the tunnel using a new novel technique called muon tomography. So muon tomography exploits naturally occurring radiation in exactly the same way as we use x-rays in the medical sector. Well, as, as a technology, it doesn't need to touch the surfaces of the tunnel, it doesn't need to uh, impinge upon the tunnel surface in any way. So when you've got these beautiful old uh, tunnel structures like this one, for instance, they um, can be quite delicate as a, as a tunnel structure. So as a non-invasive technique, we can um, just roll our system into the tunnel. We are using naturally occurring radiation to do that. And we're actually using our system to detect muons. Today we um, are taking uh, lots of measurements of the rate of uh, cosmic ray muons passing through our system. And uh, those, that rate is directly related to how thick the, the overburden is. Overburden is the sort of catch-all term to describe any material directly above a tunnel all the way to the surface. And in that way, we can actually make an image of the tunnel and the density variations in the tunnel. National highways do have a lot of background information that's going all the way back to the construction of these old tunnels. Uh, that is extremely useful when you're trying to do this detective work of, is there a shaft there? A lot of the tunnels in, in the UK were built in Victorian times. The Victorians were brilliant engineers and they were very clever. What they achieved without lasers was absolutely amazing. Because they had person power in abundance, quite often they would actually start making shafts down. Often the information about those shafts has been lost. We don't have the documentation. And of course, what we want to do now here today is actually have an understanding in tunnels such as Belgrade, where are the shafts, where aren't the shafts even? As a result, we can give our uh, clients and customers uh, the location of the shaft. Does it fill with water over time? And those sorts of uh, questions as well. Balgrave Tunnel, there's a lot of historical data. And so as a result, we've, we, we've actually been able to identify the regions which are of interest and uh, areas where we're looking to confirm pre-existing shafts. As a company, we also support many other surveys on the railway network. We've used it in the southwest of England. We're planning to use it in, in the Wales region as well. Application space for the technology is quite wide. It's a general technique for imaging and being sensitive to density in the same way as medical x-rays are. And so because of that, then we can start to uh, use it to look through tunnel overburden or as uh, colleagues in the, in the research community have done, start to look for undiscovered voids within the pyramids of Giza.